What is up, everybody? And welcome back to, yeah, The Moist, episode 14, I believe, which is mad. And as you can see, by looking at the screen, <laughs> look at this form. We're the favourites against Man City. We're third on the table. Huddersfield Sané Alpha. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting stuff. So, we have a bit to recap on because it's been a while. And, oh, what was it? Was it this Liverpool game? I think it was the Liverpool game, wasn't it? Yes, it was. We lost 1 2 against Liverpool, and you thought, oh no, his form is over. Well, we beat Leicester 4 3 somehow. Like, this was a mad game. Like, look at this. Five minutes in, they score. We score at the ninth minute. We score in the 11th minute. They score in the 35th minute, the 45th minute. Then we leave it all the way to the 80th minute to tie it up. Then in the 91st, Casey Palmer gives us the lead and the win. Hectic. Middlesbrough, we wait until the 70th minute for Archer, uh, for Atraf to score. The fullback gave him a chance. But also, as you can see, we've been selling out a stadium. 30,000 pretty much week in, week out here. Which is simply crazy. We beat Man United at home. 3-2. The thing was, look at this. 40th minute. 45th. First minute of extra time. Third minute of extra time in the first half. And then they scored two late goals just to make it look better than they were. But we were dominating that game. Stoke. Canlin. The youngster gets a brace. And then, of course, Everton, we beat 3-2 in what was a nerve-wracking game. We get a quick brace, tied up, then Quainer scores late to give us the lead. And now we find ourselves up against Man City. New Year's Day. And Aaron Moy is away on international duty for a while. Till February, for the, because he's off with Australia and for the Asian Cup. So... We are without one of our best midfielders, but that hasn't stopped us. And this is how we're currently running out. Unfortunately, Andre Andre is suspended, which leaves us weakened in the midfield more than I would have liked. I mean, this would be the smarter choice. Bring Billing into that role. I think that's what I'm going to do. Leave. Zagadu on the bench because he hasn't performed these last few games. I tried for some better form than Tommy Smith, but I want the experience of Tommy Smith for this game. Yeah, I think this is how we're gonna line up. Quainer has got two goals and one assist this season so far. Hasn't featured much because of the emergence of Boy, but Boy now injured for a few more days with the groin strain. So that does weaken the team. Quayera hasn't really found form. Kachunga has struggled in this last few. So this is a big game for us. In terms of transfers, it is January. I've made a couple of... Well, there's, there's a few outs. As you can see there. Uh, Richard Beck, one of our most promising youngsters. Uh, there, there was a very good offer that came in for him. Um, if I can show it to you. From Westbrook. 2 million and 50% of next... Sale, I'm like, it, it's a good offer, and I'm not going to play this safe long term. I'm making I'm playing, who knows? I'll take the money, and even then, 50% of the next sale. It's all right. Uh, Ryan is leaving for Cork City for free, and then Danny Kane, I believe, is leaving for 50k. 50k plus incentives. But here, we've made a few loan offers. Renato Sanchez, Leroy Sané, and Raheem Sterling. I don't think this Raheem deal is going to go through, unfortunately. But I'm hoping to bring in Sanchez and possibly Leroy Sané. Which, of course, would be huge. Renato especially, just really bulking up this midfield. So here we go. Let's kick on. Second best third on the table. A very, very big game for us. Uh, I'm going to assertively say the O-City. They beat us earlier on in the year. Let's get out there. I'm drinking an up and go. Because I'm a strong kid. Um, I enjoy these matches a lot. 
I'm going to be discussing transfer stories today. I'm not distra- dis- I'm not discussing transfers. Really nice to happen, but we'll have to make do. So here we go. Huddersfield versus Manchester City. We are at home and apparently the favourites. Amazingly. Billing to Kachunga. Imagine if we scored off kickoff. Casey Palmer. Correa. Correa's cross is blocked. It's a free kick. It's offside anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But there we go. See, coming in a bit tired here. Very tired, actually. The fixture congestion seems to have got to them. Maybe Leroy Sane, it's a bit in his head that he may be coming to us. Hopefully so. That would be lovely. Leroy Sane. And <laughs> looking like this, he's performing against us so far. So we may be even better signing than first thought. Sterling is also transfer listed. That's why I came in with a loan offer. But yeah, our city are tired. That suits our game style, as you can see, very high tempoed game style. And looking at what so far, we are actually running City into the ground a little bit, which is good. Now Williams, Zanka, we need everything to go our way really to get up. And fixture congestion is going our way. Quena goes our way to low. The fullback finds Correa on the inside. Beautiful cross. Quena will tuck it away. And we take a 1-0 lead against City. Wait, what? Upside? On who? Oh, not offside. Okay, they were appealing for offside. I'm like, I didn't see an offside there. I did not see an offside. I was about to get very frustrated, but we do take a 1-0 lead, so it's all okay. And we have been dominating this game, as you can see. Possession, currently. And... This is where City can have a chance, and they do, and Bernardo Silva puts away the set piece to make it 1-1. Paul Lopez probably should have done better. Let's look here. He should have done far better, Lopez there. And Bernardo Silva snatches a goal for City. Against the run of play a bit. And City currently just soaking up all the pressure. Like, look at this. 62% possession against this Manchester City squad is insane. We can break them down. We send a good chance. In terms of the sub bench as well, in terms of their attacking options, Jesus isn't fit. They have Sterling who's fit and Perisic who's still fit. But still, for out of out strikers, Jesus is a bit tired as well and Aguero is really struggling. They make a triple change at half time at this rate. Kachunga not playing all that well, neither is Casey Palmer. But we have dominated the game, so I think for us it's a matter of patience. Just, just being patient and the result will come. Look at this! Leo, but he's got 13, 16, 15 goals now. He has been insane for Leicester, absolutely insane. How much did they bring him in for? 10 million quid from Espanyol, and he has been amazing for them. Absurd. Nonetheless, we're coming into half time here and it's one all. And how it's built. And did I mention that they're building a new stadium? We won't be around to see it though, because it's a year away at least. So that's unfortunate. I'm going to assertively say Um I'm not happy with your performance. They're fired up. Um and I wanna keep Kachunga out there. See this is why I don't like ints on my bench, man. I do want to, this is also an excuse so I can rotate Mooney out of the squad a bit more. Because to be honest, he is not quality for this team. I trust Quayna more, even though he is a bit older. I could just rely on him a bit more. Which is big for me and it's important. Sene will provide much needed rotation though to this front three. Especially out wide. Because right now, outside of Kachunga Korea. It's, it's in, so I don't fully trust in, so then I, ha I have to move Palmer up, but I'd rather play Palmer in the middle. And it's another set piece for City. Thankfully, it's not another goal, but it's a chance to break it as Kachunga is on the ball in midfield. Kachunga, where is he going? William. Um, who is that, William? That's um, Fernandinho's number six, isn't it? Anyway, Palmer. And that's a beautiful pass from, I'm not sure who, I think it was Williams, but... Chung has just turned it over there. Bernardo Silva will probably look to play through Aguero there. He doesn't. They've turned it over and Kachunga can look to break. 
He gets past, and Quayna will make it a double. And who would have seen this coming? Boy is out injured. We needed a saviour. And Quayna has come in, and he's got a brace against Manchester City. And the thing is, Canlan, the youngster, has been performing well. But how can I... Yeah... How can I, you know, use him when Quain is performing this well? It's a tough decision. Now, can he get his hat trick? Quainer goes to Kachunga. Kachunga loses it very easily there. It's clear, but we retain possession here. And City are very deep looking at this. Billing to Palmer. Palmer. Back to Chambers to Billing. Back to Chambers. Williams. Palmer. This is beautiful play by Huddersfield. Low. Can slip in. Correa doesn't, though. <laughs> Every time City looks to break, uh, just centre-backs um, really just slow them down very well. But Palmer goes out to low, and the fullback can get across, and he goes to Correa. And that's three for Huddersfield. We are up 3-1 now against this Manchester City squad. <sighs> Second of the table, goal difference behind United. And this means sheer domination. And here are the changes. Raheem Sterling and Gundogan coming in, and... I'm also tempted to make a change. Smith is on a yellow, hasn't played great. Atraf is a liability, I guess. But he is also young and I want to give him a chance. We're up 3-1. Plus he also gives me the um, versatility to go to wing backs if I want to go to fight at the back of the point. And I'd rather him settle in the game a bit more than to make it a rash decision. And there we go, Jesus coming in for Aguero. And it looks to be a bit li too little too late for City. I say that, but there's still 15 minutes, 20 minutes probably left in this game. Can we hold on? It's looking good, Casey Palmer struggling for fitness. And I mean, City have just gone down a man. And speaking of fitness, to avoid injury, I think I am gonna make a change here. I am. I'm going to bring Danny Williams. I'm going to do it this way. It's going to be much easier to see if I cancel and pause. So cancel. Undo. Cancel. Pause. Let me look at the tactic screen so I can make it how I want it. Palmer is exhausted right now. So I'm going to move Billing up. Williams up. Chambers up. Rotate you out for... Zagadu, switch you to a round, so you're on your natural foot. I'm gonna play you as a half back. I'm gonna play you as a box to box midfielder. Then you on Zella. I like this. You know what? Let's try it. Why not? <laughs> this is risky. My gosh. But you know what? <laughs> oh dear. Hey, let's let's try one of the new roles that I had never tested before in a game against Manchester City with Huddersfield Town. How does that sound for an idea? Great. They are, you know, they're, they're down to 10 men City. And Bernardo Silva's still struggling. Jeez. Well, could have made it four there, but now Gabriel Jesus has just cut my defense to shreds a bit there. Stones will get a cross in. Wait, what? A penalty! A penalty has been given. And that's not because of my tactics, that's just unlucky, really. But I haven't had a sniff. And still will score as second for the game. And all of a sudden, City have a sniff. Gonna turn off passing into space here. Look to hold the ball a bit better. Just to close out the game. Hmm. Actually. Cancel pending changes. You know what I said about five, the back being a potential possible. What's wrong with my game right now, man? Imagine if it crashes. Three, two up again. Okay, there we go. Pause, pause, pause. We're going five at the back. And our players are suited to these positions. This is a lot more comfortable. There we go. <laughs> That's a lot better. Five at the back. Okay. 
Um, I'd rather go to the controlling part at the back. Come on, tactical changes, go through. At the end of the game, I'm probably going to restart my computer because it is struggling right now. I wonder what De Bruyne's injury is like. Knee injury. Be out for a while then. Oh, control, retain possession. There we go. Let's just leave it like that. I could set my fullbacks to overlap, which would be the smarter choice. However, I want to play it very safe here. And just try and play, stay defensive and look after the ball, really, is what I want to do. And it looks like we are going to control this game, but you never know, City could have a last cast best effort, but it looks like we have the ball right now. And we are snuffing out any opportunity that City have. I mean, it could come here, but we should win this. That could do with a poor header, actually. And Sterling will go to Jesus Chambers with a great tackle, though. It's long, and that is full time, and we get a 3-2 win against Manchester City. What a result. What a result. Alright, the lads can be very happy there. I'm going to passionately tell them, well done lads, that was a very good win for us. It only says good, but it was a very good win. And he's already delighted, so I'm not going to overpraise. But really, a standout too in Correa and Colin Quinner. Quina with a bit of a throwback game to his form last year and really just making a point there that coach you should still consider me over boy and I tell you what steps like that really do make a difference now we are coming up we do have an FA Cup fixture around the corner which you will not see, but if we look at competitions, what's the board's expectation? Reach the fifth round, so that's advanced two rounds. Up against Yeovil Town, I think I can play a weekend team, so I will do that. But, uh, to be honest, I don't want to put too much into it. Um, he's announced his retirement. Only he knows. He's been a wonderful servant to the game. Uh, he's been magnificent. Daniel Recover. Uh, he will learn from that experience and become a better player. And let's finish off this episode by praising Quena. Uh, you are superb in front of goal. Well done, my friend. And, of course, let's look at the table. We are behind United. They do have a game in hand, but it's only by goal difference. That win against City was huge. We're up in second place. Can we do it? Huddersfield Town, the impossible. Next time I see you, we'll... Be just oh the Arsenal game. I think I'm gonna show you. I don't want to sh Chelsea's a bit soon. Actually, Newcastle. Okay, Newcastle. Then probably like Tottenham. Then I'll maybe show you the. Look, look what the last game of the season is. Will it get to that? Will it get to that? I don't know, but we will find out. And I'll see you all, well, tomorrow, in terms of real life. But in terms of Football Manager, I will see you all on the 9th of February, 2019, as we take on Newcastle at home. Stay well. Have a great day. Like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe. And until next time, see you, and God bless.